Hey, what's up, guys? It's me here. How to take back with another video, guys? Here in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install Cyanogen Mod 12.1 on your Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. It's gonna work on HXCU and XXU. It's gonna only work on the specific baseband. So, so, so to see that. Uh, you need to go ahead and go to the settings about device and you should see the baseband version here hxeu one bpb one and second of all you must need to be on the lollipop firmware not the KitKat firmware it's not gonna work on the KitKat firmware only the lollipop firmware so once you you, you need to flash manually you're gonna need lollipop firmware from the odin so once you do that just go ahead and download the files that are gonna give it a link in description which should take you to the xda developer site here i'm gonna show you on uh, the xda developer app so here's this app that i'm gonna show you Here as you can see the beta of official, this is the ROM link and here is the some compatible devices list, the Fortuna 3G XXU which is the XXU baseband and the Fortuna VE 3G which is the XCU baseband. Here and from this side you can download the ROM, just go ahead and tap on the link. So here from this site you need to download your specific one as i say the fortuna 3g is the xxu and the fortuna ve 3g is the xcu model so once you download that you need to go ahead and download the google apps from the open gaps open the apps whoops dot org From here, from this website, you can download the Google Apps minus 5.1 and select the Pico and go ahead and you can download this thing. I already downloaded this two files, so uh, you, you're good to go. Now, make sure you now turn off this device. Wait till it turn off. Now you need to press the power button, volume up and the home button. Now I forgot to mention that you must need to have a custom recovery like the TWRP, CWM or the Fills Touch recovery. So mine one is the TWRP recovery as you can see. Team Win recovery project, the 2.8.7.0 version. So once you have a custom recovery in. You need to go ahead and back up your all data. I highly recommend you make a backup of your current system because when you just completely mess up your device like break it, you can just always restore the restore so you can get back where you get back to the point where you, before the installation of this ROM. I already back up to my one, so we are good to go. We have to now go ahead and wipe out data. Delphi Delphi cache system cache data. You need to do wipe these four files. Now go ahead, go back and install section. Select your storage. Inter mine one is internal. Download. From here, you need to go ahead and select the TWM. Mine, I mean MCM, the Cyanogen mod. Go ahead and select that and swipe to install. Now note that. The, the Cyanogen mod I'm going to give is the uh, currently being tested. It's not officially stable. It's not official or not is the stable. It's still in beta, so you will uh, for the XXU user you will suffer like the SIM SIM card error or you can see the video video and uh, video and audio issue, which is the on you when you're going to do a video, it's not going to record audio and some 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 issues like this so yes yeah, it's, it's being tested so do we, so don't I'm, I'm not gonna recommend installing this on your daily driver phone install this on your secondary phone 
like my my Galaxy Grand Prime, which is my secondary phone. So now once you install it, you go ahead and go back and select the Google Apps. Open Google App, open a gaps and select install. Install the Google App. Now just reboot your device. You should see something kind of like this, but this is completely normal. It's just the kernel not being official. And here's the Cyanogen Mods Lollipop boot animation. a moment as you can see it's now optimizing the application so on this part now give this a moment on this part too it should take somewhere around 30 seconds to one or two minutes so yeah this be, be patient on this one too it depends it, the time depends on how many app do you, uh, how many app is being installed on this rom so yeah you need to be patient on Now, as you can see, it's finished finish the process here. It's so now say the finished boot. Now you need to do the setup process here. Go ahead and select you know, your language. And select the Wi-Fi on. Give, them, give me a moment until I set up my Wi-Fi.
see here as you can say connected to my Wi-Fi as it's connected next you can select this or not this is the mobile data one of if you want the mobile data turn on during the setup I'm gonna give it a no and go next now so now in this part you need to go ahead and sign into your Google account Anyway, that was a little fair on the Google sign-in process, but we can do it by later. Just press next. Enable it. Click next and start. And here we go. You have been successfully flashed the CWM on your device. Let me show you again that. By a reboot. See again. But again, as I said to you, this is uh, currently being tested, so this is not a stable ROM, and so you can face some issues like having a deadlock or a sim sim card issue or something like this. Now you might think, what is deadlock? A deadlock is a issue on the ROM which which totally when you uh, lock your device it's gonna it's gonna completely like make this device unusable it's like you can turn it on until you pull the bat battery off and on and therefore you can on it again so here it is you can see it successfully booted up so let me show you the about device about phone as you can see SMG 5T0H running on Cyanogen mod 12.1 Cyanogen mod and here's the Android version 5.1.1 Lollipop so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you like this video please give it a like comment just subscribe and if you want to see a review of this ROM just let me know in the comment section or if you had some issue installing it or a bug just also let me know in the comment section below or you can post your issue on your XDA otherwise yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you